Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to talk about some filament. Stay tuned. So a company named Asta, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, wanted to send me some filament. Um, they don't want to sell it or anything to me. They um, basically they want to try to make some inroads into the U.S. market. So they're looking for distributors who may wish to carry their filament. So I said, sure, send me some filament. I'll play with it and I'll show people how it prints and how it looks. So let me pick some colors. I picked the fluorescent yellow, the fluorescent blue, and I picked their rainbow filament. That's the one you're going to really be interested in. So of course I start off with my standard prints. That is my little Marvin and it printed just fine, no issues. Printed out a Maker Coin. A Benchy, of course, you gotta print a Benchy. No issues. And a particularly nice looking little protonome. That one actually printed really clean. This actually printed on the new Atom Lab Gantry S. I was very pleased with how well that worked. Nice and shiny, if you like shiny. I also printed a couple of screwdrivers. Tolerances look good. No unusual expansion or weirdness. I also printed a couple of vases. So here's the fluorescent yellow in single perimeter. It printed fine. It's strong. It has some malleability. It doesn't crack when I bend it. So it's your, your standard PLA. No issues, no complaints. Then, of course, I printed a couple of nose cones. So this is on actually has an Ender 3 nose cone. It's a Gantry S nose cone. So these are my standard model rocket nose cones. So this is my own design. Fits in a um, T300 body tube. I printed a couple of really thin rockets. These are some Mech G rockets that I'm modifying to turn into an actual rocket kit. So with a nose cone, centering ring, so you can actually put a motor tube in this and fly it. I also made a big one. So these are going to be fun. I like the little panda bear too. <laughs> uh, another guy I found on Thingiverse had a neat little rocket, so I printed that. I thought it was pretty slick. We'll get back to this one in a second. Okay. Started off with a little vase, of course, and then I upscaled them. I also printed out some cups. I had some bad G code when it was finished printing. It tried to drive itself through the print. It took me a while to figure out that it was my G code that was bad. I have no idea how that happened, but that's also interesting. Can you see it yet? I need to go find out what made that noise. An ABS print fuzzballed on me and a piece of the filament went into the fan, so that's the sound you heard. <laughs> so this, if you haven't figured it out yet, is part of the rainbow filament. So you can see it's very, very slowly changing colors. This didn't use enough filament to actually see the color change. So I started printing this. We'll get to that in a minute. Here's the first one I did. This is the modern vase. I love this print. You see it starts off with a purple mauve color and the cool thing about this rainbow filament is that the transition from one color to another is extremely subtle it, it takes this much filament and this is thick as 1.2 millimeter nozzle that's a single extrusion uh, it took that long for it to change color so the gradation in color is very very subtle it's which results in just truly beautiful print this is constantly changing color throughout this entire print before but up here where it's all the one color and then I started printing the big bucket and I saw what was happening and I stopped it that wasn't a failure I intentionally stopped that print because I wanted to have three colors in this print you're gonna like this this is cool oh yeah you start off with the mauve color on the bottom and it transitions to the peachy green color and then it starts to transition to the teal blue color 
I love this filament. <laughs> this is some pretty stuff. Uh, I was I was kind of sad when I got to the end of the roll. It's like this, you know, most of my filaments have a harder color change where the the color change is pretty sudden. It's nice, it's beautiful, but it's pretty sudden. This is the first roll of rainbow I had where it had a really soft, subtle color change where it um it graded from one color to the next instead of just going boom boom shifting from one color to the next. It's a very very soft gradient, almost like um almost like you did a mix. Like you had two colors in, you slowly started changing the percentage. So they did that somehow on their roll. It comes like this. And then um, you see it went from this to this. I did this first. And you see this orange started the transition to that in here. And transition to that. And then it transitioned to this. Really, really cool. And when it was done, actually, I think this came after. I think this was after. Yeah. After this, I did the nose cone. And then I started doing the little cups that you already saw. You can see how they're transitioning to a lighter and lighter orange, how it's darker orange and lighter, transitioning toward yellow slightly. Really, really pretty. And the quality's good. I have no strength issues, no delamination issues. Cool stuff. It's a little shiny. I'd like to see a little bit of... um something to soften the shininess of the plastic a little bit I think it, I believe it's pure PLA it doesn't it doesn't it didn't print or feel like a blend it felt like a PLA um, but I would like to see some of that plastic sheen be reduced somehow but beyond that if you like that that's perfect but very cool stuff I'm, I'm hoping somebody carries it so that I can get some more of this rainbow because <laughs> I want to buy more of the rainbow I also made some cases so this is the fluorescent yellow and it's a case for my moto z2 so now i have a nice little case for my phone so i can use it as a proper camera and i also made one for my pocket so the phone this is the blue and then my osmo mounts in here and it allows me to connect my osmo to my phone without damaging the port that connects the two devices together but this is with the fluorescent blue and this is with the fluorescent um, yellow. Um, there was no point in doing it in the rainbow color because the, the not enough plastic was used in a print like this to see a color change unless you nailed it. That's why I stopped that because I wanted that color to start down here and change as it moved up. And to get that three color change, I had to stop that and cancel it and then restart it again so I could get that nice color change. Had I continued printing that, it would have gone to this and it would have stopped right about here and you'd have missed that third color change. So that's why I did that. But I'm actually going to use that as a little trash can on my desk. So little bits of filament and stuff, toss it here. I got a couple of these lying around. <laughs> but that's it. If you're interested in carrying their filament, if you just want to ask them some questions, there's some information down below they gave me to post. Um, the company is Asta. I'm assuming they're in China. That's where it came from. And the panda bear kind of gives that away. But they, they seem like nice enough people, so give them a shout. I will see you guys later.